You've got trillions and trillions of bacteria that live in your gut, but they're doing a good job for you yeah. and you need to look after them. I'm Sophie Morgan. And I'm Professor Simon Gaysford. And we are fascinated by the gut. Simon, I know that we have a shared interest, fascination even, in the gut. Okay, give me some of your top facts, mind-blowing stats. Yeah, so your gut is home to trillions and trillions of bacteria. And in fact, there are more bacteria in your gut than there are stars and planets in the entire universe. Your gut runs <laughs> from your mouth to your bum. Most people think your gut is just here, but it's actually mouth to bum. And in total, it's around nine meters long. Yep. Wait, hold on, let me visualize that. In a typical adult, your gut has around 200, 300 folds to make it fit in your body. Sorry, there's so much I don't know. Yeah. Wow, my mind is blown. I think the reason I'm so fascinated in the gut is because mm. I have, ever since I made changes, mm. really recognized it, really felt it, yeah. really experience the change right and it's made me want to discover and learn more all the time so fact talking to you mm -hmm. is fascinating you've got so many great stats but all <laughs> the people that don't know as much as you do mm -hmm. what are the, some of the kind of basic the, the starting points for understanding why gut health is so important to us yeah so if i go back to basics your gut is a big tube and everything that you eat and drink goes through that tube very important and your body absorbs nutrients from your gut, obviously. So it's gonna absorb water, it's gonna break food down, and it's gonna absorb that. And there's some stuff that you can't break down, um, co complex carbohydrates and fiber. Most people have heard of fiber, haven't they? Mm -hmm. um, and so if you didn't have anything else going on in your gut, that fiber would come out of your bum and you'd basically waste that as a food stuff. So you've got trillions and trillions of bacteria that live in your gut. There's thousands of different types and they're living creatures. So it's kind of scary to think that you've got all these living creatures inside you. I agree. Um, mm. But they're doing a good job for you yeah. and you need to look after them. Yeah. So when you eat, you're not really eating for you actually, you're eating for your gut bacteria, mm -hmm. one way of looking at it. And so the way that works is the gut bacteria being alive, like all living things, they eat and they produce waste. So you gain something out of having your gut bacteria inside you because they're producing all these compounds. So. Bacteria that produce compounds that are useful to you in some way, I would call good bacteria. Mm -hmm. And those that are producing compounds which are harmful or toxic, I would call bad bacteria. Simple. Clearly, you want the balance to be heavily in favor of the good yeah. and as few bad as possible. Mm -hmm. So gut health really comes down to this balance of good to bad. So really eating well, being healthy. There's another one that people forget actually. The key thing for gut health is stress. Stress can really impact oh, your gut health I as hate, well. I hate it when I hear that. Yeah. It makes me more stressed. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just because that I live with high levels of stress. And yep. then I think we all do in this day and age. Yeah, so how does stress life. impact your gut? Well, mm. stress impacts your gut because um, a lot of your immune system is wrapped around your gut. So it's easy to think about our senses as sort of um, touch and sight and hearing. But actually a lot of our immune response is wrapped around our gut. Right. And the reason is because everything that you eat ends up in your gut. Mm -hmm. And that's all foreign stuff from your body's point of view. So your, your gut is constantly checking everything you've eaten to make sure it's not gonna harm you in some way. And Western diets and the stress of um, modern Life. living mm -hmm. and all that sort of stuff just means your immune system is constantly on edge. And so that irritation is gonna feed into your daily life. It's, yeah. it's gonna make you feel funny just because you're never allowing your immune system to be properly at rest, if that makes any sense. The other thing which is interesting is that there is a big nerve that runs from the gut to the brain called the vagus nerve, yeah. or the gut-brain axis. People like to call it the gut-brain um, axis. And so your gut and your brain communicate with each other. And so most people find that a bit odd, but then I say, imagine that we were sat in and a big hungry lion walked into the room we would start to panic yeah. because our brain would say this is a very bad danger, thing. Danger, danger. And the yeah. first thing it does is say to your guts, you need to expel all your content so we can run away. And so you defecate. Okay. So no, people don't have a problem with your brain communicating with your gut, yeah. but it's a two way street. And so your gut can also communicate with your brain. And so when you eat stuff and it, it's irritating you, it's also affecting your mood. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. It really is as simple as that, isn't it? Yeah. So delving into Simpru specifically, how does that imp impact your health? And, and, and also, what happens if you don't take it? I think that Simpru in particular 
It's a very useful thing to be doing for people. Mm. I've spent lots of years now looking at different types of probiotics. We evaluate how effective they are, why they work, how people can use them. Mm. And I keep coming back to Simproof. You need a product which is well formulated with good bacteria and it delivers those bacteria into your colon. Yep. And Simproof in our testing delivers 99.9% .9 of all the bacteria in the product to your colon. So the fact that it's water-based is the difference, is the thing that makes it impactful. Yeah, you're effective. taking a living product, yeah. a, a living creature almost, and asking it to do you some good. And really, it's going to do the best good if it's an environment where it's meant to be in. It's yes. meant to be in water. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so it's really yeah. as simple as that, isn't <laughs> okay, it? <yeah. laughs> if you take Simprove, it should sit in your stomach for no more than, say, five minutes, and then it will empty into your small intestine and start moving down to your colon. Mm -hmm. So that's really why I think Simprove is very effective. It's water-based. It's got lots of good bacteria, they're fermented, and m nearly all of those bacteria get into your gut alive. Yeah. I know from taking a variety over the course of my life, mm. what has or has not worked for me. That's all I can do and say, I know this works. Yeah, absolutely. But thank you for explaining it. What would you say are some of the key things that people can do to look after their gut health? Yeah, so I would say, and this is gonna sound very boring. Say it anyway. I would say diet and exercise. Mm -hmm. um, reduce stress if you can. Try and get good sleep. That's tied in with um, reducing stress, obviously. And then I would say take a supplement. I would recommend Simprove. Try and incorporate that into your daily routine because it really does make a difference in rebalancing your gut health. Okay. Simon, thank you so much. It's been really helpful talking to you. I always want any opportunity to be able to explain why Simprove is so beneficial. So it's been really helpful having your expertise here. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's very nice hearing your story. And I like explaining how the product works as well. It's super important.